Now go that way. Hello, welcome to today's vlog. You're going to have to bear with me today because I'm moving the boat all by myself and that means I'm also in charge of the camera and I've lost the little grippy gorilla thing that hooks it onto the boat. So I'm kind of just sharing the ride with you and most of the scenery hopefully you will have seen when we crossed over Turk last time. So today's task is to get through this tunnel by myself and then across the aqueduct by myself and then get some water and perhaps do two locks and then more up and it is three o'clock in the afternoon so brilliant bit of luck the people behind me have said that I can follow them through the tunnel because it is my first time and they're super super sweet and the guy even said do you want me to come on the boat with you but I'm being super brave and I said no it's fine but I am going to follow them. And I'm off! The good thing is I know my life so. So Kat said, don't try to bother about straightening up all the time in this tunnel because the water's weird and it will just take you however it wants to anyway. My first solo tunnel. And I'm so glad these people turned up. It just makes you feel a little bit better and they were so super sweet. And I can still be proud of myself for having done it. This is the look of fear. This is, I guess, the, where that saying um, through gritted teeth comes from because I do genuinely feel like my teeth should be gritted. <laughs> uh, it's all a bit of fun. I really like to say that I was enjoying this. Really not. Oh, just can't seem to get the boat straight. And I'm sure it's just the flow of water and I should stop struggling with it. That's what Kath would say. That's what you're saying at home as well. Just enjoy the view, you're saying. I might just do that for a minute. Going into Tikova, passing up some, um, passing by some moored boats, and I can't see around the corner. So hard to see from the moment we arrive. You are one who will survive.
looking for is at bridge, well between bridge 12 and 13, or 13 and 12 because we're going down, there's um, hopefully a water point because one of the reasons I've had to set off on this crazy voyage is that I have run out of water and um, that's not a good thing. I guess I could, I could have walked 20 minutes to a spa and bought a bottle of water and then moved tomorrow or I could just move. I need to I need to have a shower and wash my hair, <laughs> which is why I'm wearing the cap. There you go, the magic's ruined. Ruined forever. <laughs> Where is Kath? I hear you screaming at your television and mobile devices. Well, she's not here at the moment, so that's kind of why I've had to move by myself because it was a two-week mooring and we were, um, we were on our two weeks, so. Our water usually lasts for two weeks. Am I enjoying it? No. I wouldn't say that yet. Having you guys along for the ride is really helpful because I kind of feel like you'll like to see this and, and that'll be interesting and it gives me something else to focus on. And everybody's been super friendly. I think because I have this look on my face. <laughs> I don't think they could believe it either. with myself for having not done it sooner and Kath and I always take turns at the locks and do it single-handed so we know what we're doing but you always have the other person there and that's where I think that if you are on a boat with someone else and you're used to doing all of the locks or all of the passengering you should just really give it a go especially while the other person is actually on board because you just never know when you might have to move the boat by yourself with your two cats. Setting out from Chirk on my first ever solo voyage was exhilarating and a little frightening, but also something I was not totally unprepared for. Being slightly familiar with this stretch of canal was helpful. bridge number 15 and the closer and closer we get to 13 the more happy I am to be having water I'm following a boat now which is actually quite nice it's kind of like when you're on the motorway and you follow a truck so you just don't have to think and then there's a boat behind me as well and I've only really encountered a couple of boats coming the other way so it's all been fine I've had to go into reverse a few times and come um, stationary and a couple of times other boats have had to do the same thing so it's been about even Stevens I am getting very cold I have some supplies I have some chocolates in my pocket <laughs> but I'm also getting really thirsty and the more you know you can't have any water the more thirsty you are go figure with a dire thirst and what I'm sure was dehydration setting in, as well as a slight wind picking up, I was desperate to find the water tap. That's if there even was one. I went towards every bridge thinking, I wonder if there's even a tap here. I hope this is the water. There's some really good marked bollards some really good path and something that looks like some water taps and hurrah water now let's remember this is my first ever solo mooring up so I hit the towpath a little bit too fast 
I got off the boat the same as I would if Kath was on the tiller, and then, usually, she'd put it in reverse. However, with only little of me to stop the boat, it just wasn't possible. Slowly, inch by inch, and helped along by the wind, the bow of the boat decided to veer right until the whole boat was jackknifed across the canal. Some kind strangers turned up. And together, we reenacted the scene from the enormous turnip, but to no avail. I went back on board and pulled off the bow while the helpful stranger pulled in the centre line. And finally, I could get some much needed water. ladies are my saviour because they um, set the lock for me and they're gorgeous. Thank you very much. You so You're much. very welcome. <laughs> and they said the next lock is leaky also so So there's the sill, I just have to be very careful of that and pull this one closed and then I think tie off the boat and lower the paddles for the other side and then I can kind of see a mooring spot with my name on it and then I'll have a cup of tea and then I'll do some paddings of my back. That's the thing. An aqueduct, a tunnel, jackknifing on the canal, and two locks. If you have enjoyed this solo trip, please give it a like. Thank you for joining me, and thanks for watching. <laughs>